Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So today I'm working on an air conditioner. And uh, the first symptom was that it was froze up. The whole coil was solid ice. And uh, what we had to do then was shut off the power to the outside unit and then let the fan run continuously until all the ice melted off. So we had a clean, dry coil to start with. Now, the main reason that most air conditioners freeze up is that uh, the air filter is plugged. So the first thing we did was checked our air filter after all the ice had melted off. Well, it could be before, it doesn't matter. Check your air filter, make sure it's not plugged. And if that is fine, which in this case it was fine, uh, then you need to check your refrigerant levels. And so uh, here we've got our low side gauge of our um, gauge manifold connected. I'll link to a similar set of gauges in the description. Uh, but you can see right here, uh, we've got our low side line connected onto the large diameter line down here. And that is the low side, as we like to call it, or the suction line. And uh, got that connected there. And we can see uh, that we're running 91 pounds on the low side. Now this is a 410A unit. You can see that. Uh, on the side of the unit, you should be able to find where it says what type of refrigerant. This is R410A. So we've got our gauges set to R410A. And we can see that this is uh, 26 degrees um, uh, is the temperature that the coil is running at. That's the vapor saturation temperature down in the coil. So that is obviously below freezing, which is what is causing our unit to freeze up. Now, uh, these are fixed orifice air conditioners which means that the amount of Freon is directly tied to the pressures that the unit runs at. Now, if you had a unit that was uh, that has a thermal expansion valve, which is gonna be a device down in the air conditioner that has a, a bulb on it and uh, kind of a funky looking thing that the small line goes into, then uh, this charging method is not acceptable and you need to use superheat and subcooling to determine the proper charge. But since uh, this is a fixed, orifice system we can just charge it based on the pressures so 91 psi is way too low so we're ready to start charging this system hence the title of the video which should be something like how to charge a 410a air conditioner so we've got our jug of 410a now to use this stuff you're supposed to be certified with the epa so please uh, abide by local codes and reg regulations before you just go filling your system willy-nilly <clears throat> so we've got air in these hoses and we need to purge that out so what we're gonna do is just open this a little bit and let it let it bleed out just a little and what I do is I just let it keep bleeding out while I hook it up to the jug and that allows all of the air or other refrigerants to bleed out of the line completely and we tighten that on there. Now we're ready, we can close our valve right here. So now we have this hooked up to the air conditioner and this side's hooked up to the jug of Freon. And we're gonna turn the valve on on top of the jug. Now we uh, need to turn this jug upside down in order to charge it. This is an azeotrope, I believe is what they call it where it's multiple refrigerants are mixed together in this 410A, so you cannot charge it as a gas. It must be charged as a liquid. So we have to flip it over in order to do that. Now we've got our scale heel here. I'll link to a refrigeration scale like this in the description. Hopefully it's not dead. <laughs> Come on, Bubba. kidnap the batteries out of my electrical tester here. So there we have our scale turned on finally. And now this is gonna be zeroed. We'll, we'll tear it so that it's at zero. And now we're ready to start adding. Still running at 91 PSI. We'll start adding. I want to add nice and slow. You really don't want to 
add it too fast or you risk uh, sending some liquid into the compressor. So we're gonna go pretty slow here and add, we'll probably add uh, eight ounces at a time and then stop and check to see what the pressures are. So this pressure that it's showing right now is not accurate because we're adding. Right, I'm actually going to add closer to a pound here. So there, I'm going to stop there. We're at a pound. A little over a pound of refrigerant. And we're at 34 degrees. So we're already pretty much back up to where we wanted to be. Uh, but this system must have a really tiny leak somewhere. I believe this is the first time we've added to this system. So I'm comfortable with this running up to 40 degrees. Um, at least 40 degrees. It's pretty warm out today. And that will give us a little bit more margin. Because if this thing just loses a tiny bit of Freon, We'll be back to having troubles again. So we'll add a little bit more. I think we'll add about two pounds. Add two pounds now. 40 degrees. Uh, since we're at the charge we want it to be at, we'll now close this valve on the tank. Then we open our valve over here and that allows the rest of the refrigerant that was in that line to go into the unit so we don't have any excessive leakage of re refrigerant into the atmosphere when we disconnect everything. So now we can close this back off here. Turn over the tank, there should be minimal amount of refrigerant here. Yep, that's it. Now we can disconnect our line here. Always keep your fingers on either side of it when you do this. Like that. Replace your cap. Go. So again, if your air conditioner freezes up, thing one, uh, turn off the air conditioner and let the fan continue to run. And then uh, check your filter and you can probably just pull your filter out while, it, while the ice melts off. And if your filter was plugged, then it's highly likely that that's what caused the air conditioner to freeze up. Or there's a possibility that it's low, like this situation here that we just finished going through. Uh, the other thing that's a possibility is if your thermal expansion valve is failing, you could also have an issue with that. But that's a lot more complicated to fix, so hopefully that's not the case. So if this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe down below for, for more videos just like this one. And we'll talk to you in the next video. See ya.